guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I am doing okay. Um, not fantabulous, but okay. We are here for November's prompt, which this month it is, what is your greatest fear? And how can you get past it? Um, you guys already know, at least most of you that have been watching me, what my greatest fear is, and that is snakes. I don't like seeing them on the television. I don't like um, seeing pictures of them. I don't, any of it. I, I, yeah, no. I am terrified, literally terrified of snakes. Now, I know some people are, you know, maybe laughing. Ha, ah, it's so funny, you know. Well, let me tell you. You know how they say you get paralyzed with fear? Um, that's what happens with me, ouch, when I come into contact or see or even hear or even think about uh, snakes, okay? I am not a fan at all. I'm putting some gesso on these pages because I plan on putting quite a bit of um, wet media on here. I am just going to play. There's no way I'm going to do a picture of a snake. I'm sorry. Um, that's just not going to happen. Um, I mean, it's to the point where, like, if I see them, like in a movie, all of a sudden my husband will say, don't look, and I won't look because I know there's a snake on the screen. And what will happen is if I was to look at those snakes, I would have nightmares. Um, I've always kind of made a joke of it and said, you know, um, put me in a in a an empty room with a snake and that's it. I, I'm done. I'm I, I would mentally lose it. And that's really no joke. Um, is it a phobia? I don't know. Do I know why? I have no idea. I just know that I am completely terrified of those things. How am I going to get over it? I don't think I ever will. But I can tell you that um, what I would prefer to happen is that those little reptiles, um, I really wish they would all go extinct because... I just get, I'm, right now I'm cleaning um, gesso out of my cap, guys, just so you know. Um, so I just, I can't, I can't deal with them things. I don't like them. I'm terrified, literally terrified of them. Um, I did, I don't know, you guys might have heard about this a few years ago when I had my um, room out in the front. My art room was out front um, in my living room, in my family room. We have um, baseboard hot water heat, and apparently there was a hole, <laughs> and one of those nasty creatures came up out of that hole, and I'm going to grab some paint while I'm talking to you, um, and they, I just got some purple paint here, uh, one of that nasty little creature come up out of the hole, and I was actually sitting at my desk, and it was maybe not even three feet from me, maybe... Uh, maybe four or five feet, okay, at most. And when I saw that thing, I literally was completely terrified. I, I immediately started shaking like a leaf. I started hyperventilating. I um, don't ask me how, and I still I don't have it because I had to take it off my phone. Um, I actually got a picture of it, and I called my husband. And no lie, it took him at least 10 minutes to calm me down enough so he could understand what I was saying. He was at work, which is quite a ways away from here. It's not, you know, I'm talking probably 35 minutes or so um, where he works. And he's like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, get home. Because this snake had come up out of the baseboard he heater area and went into one of my shelves in my art room. And... Let me tell you, it was just horrifying. I did not go back into my art studio for a good month. Um, I would make my husband go in and get me supplies and bring them out. Um, that night, or that afternoon, I should say, um, I made him go around to... I can't say made him. I, I Well, I demanded it. <laughs> uh, that he go around to every room in our house in all the baseboard heat oops it doesn't like that 
all the baseboard heat, I had him um, plug holes. And I told him, I said, that can't happen again. That can never happen again. I mean, it was just, it was awful. It was just horrifyingly awful. So, yeah, that's my fear, guys. Um, <laughs> when he finally got here, um, I was up on the recliner. <laughs> when I say up on the recliner, I was up on the recliner. <laughs> It makes me laugh now, but let me tell you, back then it was not funny. Um, I was up on the recliner, and I, I, I just couldn't move. I literally was frozen in fear. It was I was crying hysterically, um, and you know I don't know why I'm so afraid of them. I don't know. Isn't that cool? I like that. I really don't know. I wish I knew. So that I would know what I could do to get over it. But I, I don't know. I am completely terrified. Alright, I am going to dry this up really quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is pretty well dry. Now I was sitting here looking at this and I thought, oh that's kind of cool. It looks like a pair of lips. And I don't know if you guys see this right here. To me, it looks like a, a pair of lips. A pair. It looks like lips. <laughs> um, and we've got a neck here. I'm going to play around with this just because um, of what I'm seeing. Uh, why not? What the heck? You know? Um, let's play. Let's have some fun. So, because I'm, like I said, you guys, you know, I've just told you I am terrified of snakes. I don't want anything to do with them. I'm going to throw some gesso here where I can see her. And, um, yeah, that's, that's the way it is. That's my fear. How am I ever going to get over it? I don't ever think I will, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just that terrified of them. I don't, I don't, I don't want anything to do with them. Um, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sorry if there's somebody out there that loves those little reptiles, I apologize in advance. I can't stand them. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they can all go extinct. Um, it's so funny because I was t chatting with a friend over in Australia, and she knows who she is. And she does a lot of um, postings, and it's usually these these pythons or whatever, whether they're eating something or they're, you know, fighting in a house or I don't know. And I'm just like, no way. I used to want to go there. Nope. I will never go to Australia. I can tell you that for a fact. Um, a video come up on my feed one day about... Um, two pythons on top of a house fighting. I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I would have a literal heart attack if I walked outside and saw, first of all, a snake that big. And second of all, them fighting on my roof. <laughs> that would not go well for me at all. So, yeah, no, that's not happening. So anyways, I'm going to play with this gal I'm not going to say she's going to be perfect because I guarantee you she won't be. But you know what? I just saw these lips here and I thought, eh, what the heck? Let's play. So I am going to go ahead, now that you guys know my fear, um, please, 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 I don't need anything in the mail that has anything to do with a snake. Don't be mean. Um, I, like I said, I literally am terrified of them. Um, I, I, yeah, just the thought of them makes me want to throw up. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, I'm just going to play around. Let's see what we can make of this lady. I'm not trying to do anything perfect. I'm not trying to do anything realistic. She may end up being whimsical. She may even look funny by the time I get done with her. Who knows? So, but I want you guys to enjoy. So, I will fast forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Alright guys, so I just had fun playing and it's so funny because I was sitting here just thinking about um, fear, the concept of fear, and I remember this um, saying that says there is nothing to fear but fear itself. And I can't say I agree because let me tell you, there is a way to be afraid <laughs> of snakes. So um, yeah, I just had fun playing with this page. Nothing too exciting. My girl's got one wonky eye over there, but you know what? That's okay. I'm just playing. I'm, you know, I'm not ever going to be in a gallery and doing beautiful fine art. That's not what this is about. This is about um, exploring me, having fun, playing. Why not? You know, um, that's 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 just part of life. Just play and have fun. So I cannot wait to hear <laughs> what your guys' greatest fear is. Um, I know, I'm, I know we're going to hear people say, you know, losing my family, um, that kind of stuff. And that's not really, you know, what the, what the prompt is. This is. This is about you. It's about what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of dark? Are you afraid of um, small places? Are you afraid of spiders? I mean, what is it that you are afraid of? You yourself. What really terrorizes you? And let me tell you, snakes do it to me. I know I had a couple, a couple years ago um, in a happy mail I received a piece of a rubber snake oh my god I couldn't even pick that thing up I'm just like oh my god <laughs> I went into my husband was in the other room I look at this look what they sent me what am I gonna do with this and he's like you have to acknowledge it was sent to you I'm like but I'm not gonna touch it so I used a pair of scissors to touch it so <laughs> but yet yeah, it's no longer here I'm sorry person that sent it to me okay so here you go there's nothing to fear but fear itself um i had a lot of fun playing with this spread i can't wait to see what you guys do and don't forget to check in the description because i've got other artists doing this with me um with the explorations of me and there's a huge different take in, on everybody so you'll learn a little bit more about us all right i hope you guys have a great day as always like comment share subscribe thumbs up and um, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.